The studio to me is a sanctuary, a place where I can enter in and find the muse, where I can go as far out in any direction in exploring my creativity as I want to. Question about my interest in tools, where did it come from? I'm not really certain, but I do know that this was the first tool that I encountered that I thought, now what the heck is that? My reply to that is, that's art. I'm very much married to my materiality, but it's the search for form and the ideas that I'm after. So I might be working with a wax and think, okay, there's some potential here, but what's lacking? Ah, what's lacking is it wants to become more three-dimensional than it is. It wants to become exaggerated. I'm not interested in it unless I'm pushing that form. The archeology span of daily life, I use that to describe what I'm doing out here. It's examining the mundane. Then it's a matter of just studying the historical aspect of egg flippers or egg beaters or whatever it is. Now, where am I taking this? And it wasn't till sort of the latter part of 1980s that I became aware of what was going on sculpturally in glass, which ultimately led me to Pilchuck Glass School north of Seattle, where I encountered artists who were pushing glass in every direction. They were fully three-dimensional objects that really had no relationship to function. It was artistic expression that was being searched for. I started incorporating metal into the sculpture because there was a longing for some other way to express my ideas. When you think about the two materials of metal and glass, you have one material that's incredibly fragile, and you have another material that represents strength. Now we have the marriage of these two materials. And my challenge as an artist is to create something that is harmonious. I think the most rewarding part of my career has been the journeys that it's taken me on and the doors that have opened because of my career. There's never trying to please an audience. The creativity, for me, probably for a lot of artists, it's pleasing ourselves. Like, this is my exploration. If it was anybody else's, it would be an entirely different thing. <laughs>